Hi guys, Simon here from HobbyKing.com. Now today I want to show you the new version of the Cyclops Cinema Box FPV goggles. Now, as the name implies, this is the Cyclops diversity. This is true diversity, not antenna diversity. So there actually is two separate video receivers. Now what we do have included in the package is two proper antennas. I have on the left here is a Pagoda antenna, and then I also have a Amway patch antenna as well. So you get that diversity action with the two different antennas. Now another key feature of the Diversity Cyclops is the included DVR, which I have on the front here, there's those three buttons on the front, and then on the underneath there is a slot there to put your micro SD card, and then a switch from DVR mode or in video mode. Now it is a 40 channel FPV unit, so all the favourite bands and channels are actually in this unit itself. Um, along the side here, and I will go through these a little bit later when we focus up on the screen, but we do have the band selector, which is the first button there, and then the channel selector, which is up and down on the channels. And then we also have the auto scan, which was also on the old Cyclops as well. <coughs> Along the front, we have the three DVR buttons. And then on the side here, we have the AVRX. So whether you want it to be internally operated or you can operate this via a base station. Then we have the menus plus and minus, which is brightness, contrast. I'll go through that in a little bit as well. What comes in the package? You actually comes with the Cyclops box, which is a great storage and transportation box. We've also included a pouch, a soft pouch here, just to put your Cyclops in there so your Cyclops, your lenses and things like that don't get damaged in your backpack and things like that and doesn't get scratched up. The instruction manual, we actually have a spare Fresnel lens, which is three times magnification. We have an extra nose piece in case that fit isn't perfect. You can whack that on there. The mount for the quantum head tracker, if you wanted to do some head tracking, now we have two different power cables. So this can be powered off a two or three S LiPo. So we have also a barrel connector here, which is the JST connector. And then we also have the barrel connector with the XT60. The one that's already attached is basically just a barrel connector, which is your normal sort of fat shark style barrel connector. Something that you would use with the FPV, quantum FPV battery, which would plug straight in. And obviously the battery just attaches at the back of the head strap there. Now these cinema style FPV goggles aren't for everybody, but they are perfect for the people that obviously wear glasses. These fit beautifully with glasses. If you wanted to have a passenger set of FPV goggles, these are a perfect solution. And also just starting out into FPV. Now what we'll do is we'll just get a little bit of a close up here of the screen and we'll go through the different menus. So we've got a close up of the screen here. And as you can see on the bottom left hand side is your voltage indicator. Now that's the voltage that's coming from the goggles, not your quad voltage or plane voltage or anything like that. So just so you know how much battery you've actually got left that is actually powering your goggles up. Then you'll see the two RSSI indicators. The one on the left is the video RX and the one on the right is the right hand side video RX. So if we just go through some of the menus here, we'll just have a look at the band. Now as you can see when we change the band, it actually comes up on the screen, which is actually a really good feature. You don't need to pull the goggles off to see what band you are and what channel you're on. So you've got your A, B, E and F, and then I'll just go through the different channels. So this is just off channel a little bit. As we get around to the right channel, we should pick this up on F3 and boom. There's my quad and you'll actually see those RSSI indicators go green. Now I just put this on a different um, channel just so we can have a look at the auto scan function. So if I wanted to pick up somebody else's quad, I'm just going to hit the auto scan now and it's just a press and hold for a couple of seconds and it'll just go through the scanning procedure and it should pick up my right channel which you'll see is on F3. Then if we go over to the left hand side we've also got the internal and external monitors. Uh, we don't have an external monitor plugged in here at the moment. Moving towards the left hand side, we go through the screen menus. Um, so you've got brightness down there, contrast, the colour, normal is the actual position of the screen. So you can actually see that you can actually just flip it here. The zoom is 16.9 or 4.3, depending on what you want to fly with. And then the menu VP is actually the vertical position of the menu. So you can have that go up and down as you please. And then a factory reset. So now let's move on to the DVR, which is located at the front. And then underneath is where you access the micro SD card and also flick it over from DVR mode to RX mode as well. So I've just put the Cyclops into DVR mode by that front selector switch. 
Now while in the DVR menu, if you hold down the very right hand side button, you'll see that indicator will actually turn blue and that means that you're in the DVR viewing mode and you can just go through your normal files that you've actually recorded. And if I just press and hold the center button down, you'll see the normal DVR menu structure. I won't go through all these, but it's basically just the normal menu structure that you see on DVR units. So guys, that's the Cyclops Diversity. It's going to be available in all regional warehouses soon and also in the International Warehouse. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for future further tips. And until next time, see you later.